on World News. Today we're talking about how Facebook sucks. Of course it sucks, but did you know that saying women are equal to men is hate speech on Facebook? Let's look. We got Abba and Preach. If you don't know who Abba and Preach are, they have this nice YouTube channel. It's pretty good content. They talk about a lot of just craziness, especially related to relationships and such like that. They say, unfortunately, we'll no longer be posted on Facebook due to this platform being trash and censorship. If you check uh, their Instagram, they actually have more on the, on the story. Y'all won't believe this bullshit. We said women weren't superior but equal to men. Our video got taken down for hate speech. Apparently, equality hate <laughs> equals hate speech. Them niggas don't even pay us to give us a headache. Like having relationship problems when you're more single than a dollar bill. <laughs> so let's actually watch the video. Women are superior bosses. There's just like two clips from here that I just want to point out and then we can just talk about it. But this is usually like their type of content. You can, I'll link it here because they do make really good content if you want to check them out. She said that her number one boss is Oprah Winfrey. Mm, oh. She said Oprah Winfrey is her number one boss, and she said she feels that women make better bosses because we're more... <laughs> well, we start because they can handle their emotions better than men can. Right, so they all start clapping. Do you think there's like an, an applause sign? Or do you think they just organically did that? I've never been on whatever show that is. So, so not women are just as competent bosses. Women are better. Women are superior. Okay. I'd love to see the data that backs that up, but someone's opinion, so. So, my question to you all is, yes. do you agree with her assertion? Hell yeah, yeah, I agree. Yes! The real? Is this like, is this like the black view? But you guys don't have a white Whoopi Goldberg. Where's your, where's your Whoopi? I absolutely do. you think do. the same reasons? Yeah, but women know how to multitask, first yeah. of all. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually scientifically proven that we are better at multitasking than men. Fun and fact. I think yeah. we have an incomparable gift of intuition, mm. right? Mm. And then I feel like we now. Oh, is that smart guy's sister? Damn. Naturally have this dance between warmth and strength, right? And yeah. I think that sometimes is a stigma that we're that's put on us that like, As oh, we, they can't. Okay, so basically these women just go to town saying the women are better, they make better bosses. And then Abba and Preacher just say, you know, I don't know. I think women might be just as good. Well, let's see, let's see. This is my favorite part. This is where he breaks it down in a way that I think makes a lot of sense. That's the gist. And it shows the gist of the video. And then Facebook, you can see how Facebook would take it down. Because this is, what he's about to say is definitely hate speech. Is that we've lived through life are much better at managing their emotions. Not, and so are therefore and much they, better. And, and, and also they no, can multitask. No. Emotion, uh, I work with women, this? and I can tell you, as an engineer, there are some women. If they're insecure, they make the worst bosses. Hey, man, it's insecure, mother. It's not women. It's not men. If you got some issues, God knows women have issues. God knows men have issues. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Yeah, they feel competitive. Yeah. So it's not like right there. That's it. It's insecure people make bad bosses. Insecure people suck to be around. It doesn't matter if it's a girl or a guy. It just matters if you're insecure or not. And that's uh, that's the gist of this video. I mean, I'll link up a video. You can watch the whole thing. And they have lots of other... Uh, they have some really funny videos, too, talking about this nonsense. But, yeah, this was taken off of Facebook uh, for hate speech. <laughs> because you can't, you can't disagree. I, I, don't, I don't get it. If if anybody could actually listen to what they were saying, you'd understand that they were trying to say that like men and women are equal. And I thought that was the goalpost. We were aiming for men and women being equal. We're aiming for all the races being equal. And then all of a sudden, some crazy shit happened in 2020 where, nah, 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 nah we don't want to be equal. We want to be better. You you got to be better for so long. We we want to experience what it's like to be better. We're done with trying to aim for equality. It's just a bit ridiculous. The fact that they even have these kinds of shows, I'm sure this is on TV or something. 
Who watches TV still? That's what I want to know. Well, who is TV for? My mom and dad, pretty much. But my mom is, like, with the shits now. She just watches Amazon. She does. She's mostly on her Kindle. But my dad, is <laughs> he'll actually watch the news. He doesn't like Trump very much. but Because he, he watches the news, you know? So I just thought this was odd. Uh, that Facebook would... I mean, I guess it's not odd. I guess this is par for the course. This is just normal. Damn, welcome to 2020. We're saying that women and men are equal is hate speech. So I think Facebook is dying. I think, I don't know if it's like it's trying to go out in a blaze of glory. I haven't had Facebook in a while, but Facebook and Instagram are owned by Mark Zuckerberg, I believe. It's part of the same sort of company. And then... YouTube is one of the last bastions of free speech, and it's like not even really. Like, damn. I think in five years, the landscape of the internet is going to be totally different than it is today. We, I mean, just go five years ago, it was totally different than it is now. Five years ago, I feel like you couldn't even post a video on Instagram. Maybe not, that would have been like eight years ago, maybe. It was just pictures. And then people were, I would, I'd be on Facebook and I'd hear about people beefing on Instagram and be like, what, what is that? Will Twitter even still be around in five years? I don't know. We'll have to see. But I'll link this video. You can let me know if you think women are better bosses. I'm sure that there's lots of things that women are naturally more inclined towards. And there's things that men are more inclined towards. But I'm not sure if generalizing all of women and all of men is the greatest idea Especially in this climate. Shouldn't we be aiming for equality? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and give them a like. So yeah. Take take care of the whatever. Take care of yourself if you think that... Um, no. If you think that women are better, then... I don't know. Go, go donate to a woman's cause. If you think men are better, then fucking call your mom. <laughs> be a good person. Talk to women. Find a woman you respect. If you're a woman who thinks that men suck, find a man that you respect. I don't mean like in a romantic relationship. I mean like go read some quotes. Maybe there's some dude out there in antiquity who is respectful. Likewise, maybe there's some base chick out there. What the, what the Hedy Lamar didn't Hedy Lamar like invent radar or some shit? She was an actress and like a spy during World War II. That's pretty badass. All right, well, I digress. Be a good person. Call your mom. Take everything with a grain of salt. If you support this content, check out the description. Peace.